Before I show you how to test thermal fuses for continuity, I just want to show you a few of the different types of thermal fuses that you will encounter. This is one of those service calls or repairs that you will do a lot of them, especially drier thermal fuses. Here's another one that you'll run into is mostly on uh, Samsung dryers, some LGs. This is one that's not in the packet. And then another one, small one, right here. Thermal fuses blow all the time. A lot of the reasons that thermal fuses go bad, some is a power surge. More often than not, heat is returning to the dryer because the vent is blocked and we'll talk about that here shortly. So let me show you how easy and simple it is to test a thermal fuse. Always remember before testing any part on any type of appliance you want to unplug it and remove it from the appliance. Of course you want to set your voltmeter or multimeter to ohms of resistance for those of you that do not know the upside down horseshoe and as you already know I always tell you always test your instrument if you don't you're going to get a false reading just put your leads together and on this one it has the tone option I prefer the tone option for a lot of reasons sometimes you have to place your meter where you can't see the ohms of resistance and the tone will let you know that you have continuity. So let's check this. This thermal fuse is probably the most common for Kenmore, Whirlpool, some Maytags. All you have to do is put your leads to your multimeter on one tab and then on the other and you hear the beat. What that tells us that this thermal fuse is fine. That's not our problem. Another cause for this thermal fuse is if the dryer will not start on electric dryers. On most gas dryers, this thermal fuse, and make sure you take the, check the uh, schematic sheet, is in line with the heating. But on electric dryers, it's usually the cause for the dryer not starting. Now, another tip that you need to know is once you replace this thermal fuse as a technician or even as an individual, the next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you go to the vent where your dryer is vented on the outside, turn the dryer on, and make sure you're getting good airflow. Because a block vent or a vent that has a lot of clogged is clogged with lint, sometimes even a sock will cause that heat to return and blow this thermal fuse. Last tip, if the vent that's going outside the home is going through the roof, then I show you a simple way to test it in the membership area for those of you that are interested in starting your own business. So again guys, check it of uh, a thermal fuse for continuity is simple. All you need is a multimeter. Always unplug the machine or the appliance before you start testing any parts. That's it. See you in the next video. Be blessed and be encouraged.